This is a video on the Zmodo secure camera security camera system. I've got cameras here, which is steering this whole area here. Got you coming and going. I got an infrared uh, booster light. It lights up this whole area. Plus this and this. So got you coming and going. This camera here lights up this area. Watches this area and the deck. And then I've got like get you going here. A lot of hard rain. A camera that is up there in the corner up there and its field of view is from where I'm standing here all the way to there and here. It'll watch all this area right here. This whole spance. And then I've got that one and that watches from where I'm standing here all the way there that over that way and on the other side of my car it's my wife's car you can see this whole field of view just like that now the reason why I'm doing this is because on the Zmoto camera system there is a little glitch on the remote access uh, with Windows IE. Surprise, surprise. Anyways, I will get into that next. Okay, this is the second, another part um, on the uh, Zmodo uh, home security camera system. Now, as I explained on the first part was uh, the the, the um, shots of the video um, of each camera cap uh, this cam the, each camera's capability um, and what I'm recording well nighttime on a security camera system is always hard to deal with but I have come up with a few things that have uh, made those corrections um, and did some other stuff that will help deal with it but anyways <clears throat> it's still hard to do um, one of the biggest things is the advantage is there's a control station at the DVR itself with a monitor that you can utilize to pull up recordings and save them off and etc cetera, etc cetera. manage them um, but if you just want to look and see how your cameras are doing and your views are doing remotely there's couple different ways to do it. Uh, one of the ways is by um, utilizing um, Internet Explorer. Uh, Firefox will not work. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what it is they do, but Firefox will not work. I've tried every trick in the book. Um, there's not a lot on the Internet about this. Um, it's really a pain in the butt. But anyways, one of the things to look at if you want to see the field of your, your camera system, this is what you do. You have remote access in a network because it's networkable. So you're looking at it, seeing what's on there. Um, but to get this to come up, to get this application, this is a web client. Um, to get this to come up, the next trick is... Um, there's some things you have to do with Internet Explorer to make that happen. And I'll explain it on the next one. So, that's the uh, next video coming up. Um, okay, this is a kind of a one more step in the um, camera security, home camera, home security camera systems. Um, made by uh, this one here is particular by Zmodo as Z M O D O. Uh, they're big time on eBay. They have a website. They're they're 
pretty decent cameras and you're going to add other ones to it. But anyways, this one here is um, regards to how to set up for accessing their um, web client, Zmoto's web client. And their web client that they use, uh, this application you can only use, only utilize in Windows uh, Internet Explorer, i.e. And because Firefox it doesn't work. Uh, I'm not sure why. I've tried uh, different things. I just uh, got tired of fighting it. It's Inter Explorer. It's Firefox. So with IE, I now I'm not a big fan of IE, but it is what it is. But anyways, uh, this access here using this web client is an intranet access. That means an internal network through your own router pipe in your home. It's an intranet. And there's the other the other process is an internet, which is remote using another program or an application. One that I use is called Splashtop. And <clears throat> I have a lot of information about that on the last part of this video. Um, and it works pretty cool. But that's if you're on vacation or at work and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. You're not on your home site. So the intranet setup through uh, Inner Explorer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go over, this is for XP and uh, Windows 7. Now XP, some of the settings in XP under the uh, Tools Internet Options may be a little bit different, but this is all about ActiveX. Uh, the ActiveX uh, installation issues. And there ain't a dang thing on the internet about it. Um, there's nothing. There's no uh, files for it, and I'll explain that in a little bit. Etc. Uh, Etc. Et There's a process to do, and it works pretty good. And obviously, it, it does work because I I'm running it right now. But these are the things you have to go do. And this is using ActiveX because IE uses ActiveX. And one of the problems with uh, Zmoto's and anybody's using their cameras is they use uh, a thing called EDVR. EDVR dot cab it's a edvr.cab file cab is in boy um, and the area to pop up when you go to set it when you try to install or access your login uh, whatever your IP address will be for your in for yours uh, when you try to do that <clears throat> it comes up and it says that uh, the author is unknown and I'll show you a little screenshot of what that what that is in this video but it says the uh, the uh, author for that particular cab file is unknown, so it won't install it. And man, there's no drivers, there's nothing for that file to get it to install. There's some tricks, but they don't work. This is the one that fixed. But anyways, um, and whatever brand security system you're using, other than Pelco, which is a major brand camera system, Pelco uses its own proprietary software. You don't have those issues. There's uh, they use different things, but anyways, these are some of the homeland home security camera systems uh, that you get on eBay, and they'll use either the EDVS or EDVR file extensions, uh, cab files, and that to get those to work for their web client, you have to do these things. So, anyways. Um, uh, you know your access to your your uh, there's uh, also some ports uh, for maybe port forwarding um, stuff like that but that stuff's easy to do if, you, if you've set routers up and such uh, most of the ports is 50-50 uh, 5050 uh, 50 for port forwarding that's the common one for this to pipe up into your pump come up in your router um, but anyways, when you go to do this, you're going to type it in the address bar, your IP in the address bar, and it'll come up with a little prompt, and it'll say, uh, Windows has blocked this over because it cannot verify the publisher. You have no choice but to click OK. Um, now, and then you're going, OK, now what do I do? You click OK, and it just goes away. It won't install ActiveX. So anyways, what you have to do is, you think you're dead in the water, is you... Uh, 
uh, you go to your tools um, folder and you bring up internet options and you go to the uh, security tab and you make sure you're in the local intranet area not on the internet but the local intranet and then you go to custom level bring that up and then you're going to scroll down till you start seeing the ActiveX stuff and then you make the necessary changes and the necessary changes is one of them is the ActiveX filtering okay that's disabled um, the uh, previously used that's enabled uh, previously I'm sorry unused ActiveX um, you will um, disable that one uh, the allow scriptlets you'll enable that the uh, automatic uh, prompting for XX, uh, ActiveX controls uh, is enabled uh, download uh, ActiveX, signed ActiveX is enabled uh, download one of the changes you're going to make is download unsigned ActiveX and that's prompted because it's going to ask you a, a question um, the initialize is again that's prompted uh, the initialize and script ActiveX controls not marked as safe for scripting uh, you prompt that uh, there's no risk involved. It's just uh, what it is is basically that CAD file doesn't have a good certificate, and you know who writes these things. I mean, they're you know they're dime a dozen people, so you're not going to see. Uh, the next thing you want to do once you set those, it's real simple. It's about the ActiveX um, stuff. Uh, it's not, and and some of it might be experimental. The XP it might be experimental. I'm not real sure, but anyways. <clears throat> uh, Let's see, um, that's it for the settings and you got to make sure that you got the medium low as uh, default and you just basically click OK. I'm going to hit cancel because I've already made my changes. But um, then you go to install it. Uh, let's get out of this. You're going to hit apply and OK and then you're going to go to inst when, uh, type in the address bar, the IP and it's going to ask you if you want to install. It'll install. Uh, it'll prompt you. Um, and then all of a sudden, once it's done, a web client will come up with its login uh, page for the uh, uh, for login. And that's up to you for whatever that settings are, which, whatever your uh, username and password is. But um, um, that's basically it. It's not that big a deal. But with IE, you have to set some of those things up in the intranet side. The internet, you won't care you're not going to access it that way when you're away you have to use another application and again like I said I'm you know splash um, let me bring it up real quick here um, splash top streamer is what I was what I used and I've used it a while for quite a while and it, it works great and that's where it is right there and it's splashtop.com and it's free. Um, yeah, use it for uh, your device, whatever device. Um, you know, personal. Uh, let's see the platform. Where well, it's going to be uh, iPad, iPhone, iPod, Android, Kindle, Mac, Windows, blah 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 blah. blah. Even Linux. It'll do Linux too. And that's what you do. Um, that's the mobile device part, and you can get the app for that that's what the app looks like for the mobile device and then you're going to do it for your computer which is the streamer portion and that's what the app looks like for your on your computer what kind of little icon you'll have and you'll set up the same exact thing Windows, Mac or Linux and it works cool I mean it's not it's not a big deal to do it you, you turn it on it's almost like remote desktop you, you uh, engage this on your home machine and then you uh, bring it up on your uh, your uh, device, whether it be again iPad, Kindle, an Android device, a tablet, you know, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, or another machine at wherever your location is, your laptop, um, uh, 
and uh, which would be the Windows portion or if it's a Mac unit uh, and that will access the same I'm going to kind of come up with that web client login uh, you type it in and um, that's how it comes up so and also you uh, you got your cameras it's pretty cool so any oops that's um, what I wanted to uh, show everybody and kind of just explain a little bit on regards to this web client thing uh, if there's you know some people out there frustrated that have Zmodo or any one of them home uh, security camera systems uh, this is the process to go through so anyways enough chatting about it and that's basically it and if you have any questions when you watch my YouTube just send me a comment and, or a question and I'll try to answer the best I can uh, if you're not sure of the settings uh, if you're questioning them uh, send me the uh, send me a uh, comment and I'll um, answer the question the best I can. So that's it for now. Okay, this is the login screen for Splashtop. This is looking at my computer and then I'll just leave that up and bring up Internet Explorer. Let you use it. Obviously you're seeing exactly what I'm doing with my machine. But I would normally leave this up. Okay. Doing this for demonstration purposes. Remember I mentioned about the uh, forwarding port, this command port, 5050, that's important. As you can see that's there. bring it up and I am now looking at my camera system on my tablet through T-Mobile system that is on my desk machine computer that's the same screen and it just leave it running I wanted to uh, Um, if I wanted to get out of this, I just minimize it. Okay. Bring splash back up. There it is. Now again, if I wanted to log back in. Okay. Bring my machine back up. The uh, application on my tablet and there I am again looking at my desktop this is what I would do if I was <coughs> away like on our Disney trip or something if I wanted to see if there was an issue or something I could do that so that's basically it for splash top on a, any kind of a Android etc etc device that's it for now that's the end of the home security camera system by Zmodo